Hi, my name is Nathan Adams, and this is a Blender tutorial from Shemble Studio. Today we're going to talk about using a green screen, how we can apply it in Blender. So let's get ourselves started, okay? So, first of all, we're going to get rid of this cube. Alright, we just, when I actually get into it, okay, let's get rid of this cube. Alright, so get the deletes, hit OK. Alright, and now, what we're going to do, actually before we go into that screen, I was going to go into the uh, sequence screen here. But, first of all, what I want to do is I am actually going to set up my scene. Okay, and let's go into our world button. And now, we're going to add a texture here. Okay, and let's go into our texture button. We're going to get clouds, okay? All right, and then let's go into our colors, get our color band, okay? And then what we want to do is just, just want to make sure that this, this stuff gets all the right colors so that we have a nice sky scene, okay? So let's uh, move that over some just until you get it to where you want it, okay? So you can play around with these values. Then you can also adjust your bright and dark right down here, okay? All right. And then I'm actually going to make these white. And then the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn up the alpha so it's all the way to one, okay? And this color, I'm going to actually change it from that from that default blue a greenish color somewhere to about here um, okay that looks about right I think and then let's just uh, let's just take the contrast up a little bit you can play around with these values tinker around with them all you want it doesn't really matter too much and this is just a demonstrational okay so you play around with these values and actually I'm thinking I want to invert these so I'm actually going to move those okay so this is now the brighter color this is the darker color all right we just about have it in fact I may take that contrast down a little bit and in fact let's just do a test render just hit F12 for a test render. Okay, we need to add that. We need to actually add that to our uh, background before we did any of that. So we'll go ahead and we'll go into our world button, and let's go to map two. Change that from blend to horizon. Now we'll take a look at it. F12. Okay, there we have a nice sky background. And the next thing we're going to do is that we're going to go into our composite one right here. I said sequence before, but it was really composite that I wanted to do. And then we're going to say do composite, and we're going to go to this composite nodes icon right here. So I want to make sure we're in composites. By the way, this, uh, this composite screen I've actually set up for my own purposes, so I just did I just did this node editor right here, okay? And then over here I have my UV editor, and down here I have my buttons window. So this is a little this is a little uh, setup that I got for myself just so that it would be an easier workflow. And uh, and of course, you know, that's the nice thing about Blender is it's nice and customizable. Anyway, enough of that jabber. So we're going to say use nodes, okay? And then just Move this over, pan over, okay, and then hit F12 again, just so that you have that, and now you're going to have a composite to play with, okay, and we just want to say render result right here, let's zoom out, there, now we can see the entire thing, and then I'm going to bring in an image that I'd done previously, and what I did was I put a green background onto it, okay, and so we're going to add another image. Uh, we're going to add an image node. Okay. And then we're going to load new. And I'm just going to go find this. And it should be here. Green 
the screen is what I called it. Okay, there we go. Select image, there we go. All right, now you see this cube image. It's a very simple cube that has a green background behind it. Now, in order to get this image onto here, the next thing we're doing is we're adding a mat node, and let's do the difference key. All right? So, let's get rid of that for a moment. Okay. And then we have our image there, and here's and here's where it says image and mat. Those are very important as what we're going to do next is that we are going to actually put a mix node on here. Okay. All right. So, we go to our color mix and then we put mat on here. Now what the mat is, is it's an alpha value that, that is calculated based on a key color on here. So in this case, right now what it's showing is it's this gray color, but we don't want the gray to be faded out or anything. We don't want that to be deleted from our picture. What we want is we want to take a sample and we want this color, this green color, to be what is considered alpha, or rather the alpha that's taken out and so everything that's not green is going to stay in the scene. Okay, and now what we do next is we can immediately look at this image to image. Okay, well that's not doing much. Uh, I mean, yeah, you have your uh, you have your stuff here, but it does it doesn't quite work out. So we add in another mix. And then we take this, put it over here. Okay. And then use this image. And I can never remember which how the order of operations goes, so I always have to play with this. But here we go. So now we have something but it's not quite coming out exactly as we want it. So, instead of doing the mix like we have in this one, we're actually going to change this to multiply. Okay? And we're going to get this at a factor of 1. So, what it does now, and actually this one is not supposed to be a mix, but rather this one is to be an alpha over. So I need to actually delete that node and we're going to do an alpha over. So we're almost done with our uh, with our scene here. Okay, so we go to color alpha over. So and this is a very simple node setup. So there are going to be times where it's going to be a lot more complicated than this where maybe you have objects that are going to be in front of your object that's that's coming in from the green screen uh, whatever the case may be so this is a very simple setup like I say okay now we do those two and then there we have an alpha over but you'll also notice this nasty green outline okay now the way to fix that is that uh, first of all you click on this convert uh, pre-multiply actually do pre-multiply one okay I know that doesn't show anything yet but you want to make sure that that does that so that you have all the edges taken off and then we adjust these values and these are the R, G, and B values or red, green, and blue and so I'm going to put 0.5 here I'm going to do that for all three values. 0.5. And there you can see we don't have any of that nasty green outline surrounding our object. And that is how you do a green screen. So these objects you can play around with. You can play around with these values uh, to get your green screen result that you want. And this you can see there's not that terrible green outline on it. Now, if you had other values besides just this, this green, because this is a really flat green, 
you know, you know, it's not going to get perfect with all your uh, green screens. Uh, this one was actually done in a rendering versus an actual physical green screen. But that's where you can play around with these values until you get exactly what you need. So, um, tell me what you think of this tutorial. Did you like it? Was it informative? And uh, please rate it and give me feedback, and I would love to hear from you. This is Nathan Adams with Shembol Studio.